Welcome back. So you've watched that video on how to install NetBeans in Java, and now we're ready to get going and actually get our first little project working. So let's give it a go here. So here's NetBeans. Let's just get it started. And once you get it started, it looks something like that. Okay, there's a lot in this program. We'll slowly nip away and learn a lot of pieces of it. Uh, but for now, let's just get you up and going and get a project working. So we go up to File. We select New Project. And the very first option, it's a Java project, Java application. Hit Next. Now we need to give our project a name. I'm going to call it something like uh, My First Project. And you're going to see where it's saving it. So you may want to keep a little record of that so you know where the stuff has been saved on your computer or choose a different location of your choice. And then down here, there's a little checkbox. It says Create Main Class. Usually in Java, uh, very loose language is your program will be written up in something called a class file. What I want to do is I don't want them to create any class files for us. I just want a blank, empty project. And when you've got that, let's just hit Finish. Now, you'll see our Project Explorer window here, especially the Source folder, shows us the files that are part of our project. And right now, we have no files in there. Now, what I want to do is I want to actually add a file in here that's already got a bit of code written for us. And I want to add a file that's pre-made to basically create a window. So the program we're running, when we start it, will make a window that will pop up and then we can add buttons and text boxes and some code onto this window. So to do this you can just right click on the source package folder, select new and we're going to pick a J frame form. It wants a name here, let's just call it uh, the hello frame. Don't put spaces in there and it's uh, traditional notation, start with a capital letter. Let's go finish. It does a little work. And here we go. This is our window. Now in Java, they'll call it a J-frame or a frame. Now right now, this little window has nothing on it. I'll add a few things on there in a minute. Now you'll notice you're probably thinking, oh, I'm trying to learn how to code. Where's the code? When you're dealing with a frame, you'll see tabs here. One is called design. That's the tab we're currently on. It shows you the window for designing. And if you click Source, it shows you some of the code that's been pre-written. And you'll see here in the pre-written code, in some places there's little plus signs. So some code's being hidden from you. Now, for those of you that have to know absolutely everything about everything right from the start, uh, you're not going to be able to. There's a lot there needed to make a window pop up and work. And so for now, you have to be really good with just accepting the fact that you don't get to know everything and we're going to take a step back right to the beginning of coding and just do the basics, right? So just ignore all that code that's already in there for now. Now, this window, if you actually want to see it running in real life, basically your first program, which you haven't even done much to, we can run it by clicking the big green arrow and it'll say select the main class. This is a class file and it's called hello frame so let's say yeah that's the one I want to run and give it a sec and there it is there's your Java program and you'll notice you think it does nothing but it actually does it's been coded you know that you can stretch it expand it you can maximize it you can minimize it where's that minimized window you can put it back to normal and you can shut it so even though you think there's no code there, that's what I meant when I said we grabbed a class that's already been pre-coded. It has a lot of that there. If you had to sit there and code that yourself, you'd be sitting there for a long time and you wouldn't even know what to do anyways, right? So that's nice that they've given this right from scratch. So that's basically how you set up your first project. In the following videos, we're going to obviously start adding stuff to this and we're going to start coding it so you can actually have a little program window frame that does something. Thanks for watching.